Hi, I'm Brian Van from Sport by Track Gear, sportbytrackgear.com. Today we're going to do a follow-up review, a first ride review on the Knox Handroid Hand Armor. We've been talking about these things since the end of 2009. Tons of hype, tons of excitement. These things have been in Wired Magazine. They've been in Maxim Magazine. They're blown up all over the forums and the internet, and for good reason. They're absolutely incredible. Since the end of 2009, we've had this one lone sample here, the one that I have on. It's been tried on by a million people. It's been literally worn for hours, okay? I had the opportunity to ride in March with our friends at Sport Bike Track Time, Barber Motorsports Park, sidebar, love that place, favorite track ever. Before we went there, I did get one full set of hand rights. They were in size large, okay? Didn't fit me, right? I had this one that fit me. I traveled down to Barber with that pair and this one. I was able to ride for two complete days in my lone hand roid. On my right hand, left hand, I wore my held tight. So I guess I was kind of out there Michael Jackson style, that's okay because I was really excited to ride in these and the full pair I had, they didn't fit me. What I did with the pair that didn't fit me is I walked around the paddock and I literally just let people try them. They'd go out and ride for a session or two and I kind of videoed their feelings and their thoughts about the handroids and we did it straight up. Everybody that used them had the chance to do a review and I'm going to put that in this video too so you can hear what they have to say. I'm going to give you my opinion right now. The feel from these things is amazing. I would give it absolute top marks. I think the feel might even been just a tickle better than my, my Titan. Okay, We're talking really close, but a tickle better. I was very impressed with that. I didn't have any unwanted interaction between the exoskeleton and my brake lever. That's something that I had thought about because I'm a two-finger breaker. I like to go cover the brake with these two fingers and I keep these two on the clip-on. At no time did the lever interact with these two fingers that were under. That was fantastic. So basically, did I like them? Yeah, I did. They felt great. They looked great. They were easy to get on and off. I like the BOA lacing system. That worked awesome. But let's be realistic. These are, are protective gloves, okay? These aren't gardening gloves, so the million dollar question is how do they crash and do they work? I did my best during those two days to answer that question myself, but unfortunately I kept it up on two wheels. We did, however, have a customer that had purchased a pair from us here, and in the, f the first day that he was out in them, he had an unfortunate accident about an 80 mile an hour high side, and he got to test them before I had the chance, and we're going to give you a look at those right now too. Okay, here we go. Here is our first look at the crashed handroids that we got back. Let's talk about the crash just a little bit. 80 mile an hour high side on the track. It was the customer's first day in the gloves. It was a big wreck. We're not talking about a little low side here. We're talking about a big high side. You go up in the air and then you come back down. And let's be realistic. Instinctively, we all, when we're crashing, want to put our hands out and, and, and brace our fall. And that is where these things really shine, okay? With a standard glove, if you fall, palm first, you try to brace your fall, what happens is the leather on the palm of the gloves will grab onto the pavement and you have a massive transfer of energy back to your wrist, your hand, your arm, up into your shoulder, and also you're asking the glove, the, the leather of the glove and the seams on the glove to manage that energy transfer, okay? And that's when you see gloves start to blow open, okay? gloves blow open, you cleave up your hand, it's no fun for anybody. Let's look at the right glove first. Here is the SPS and the three plastic pucks. Remember like we talked about in the video review, these are there so that when you touch down palm first, the plastic slides very easy, your hand comes out from underneath you and it avoids that massive energy transfer. It works to keep the glove in one piece and it, and it keeps all that energy away from your body. You can see here clearly it worked. It, for the most part, kept the leather off the ground. Had just a little bit of scuffing here on the leather. Lots of wear here on all the pucks. We've got a little scuffing here. Back of the wrist slider. Got a lot of scuffing here on our cuff slider. Back of the hand. Just some little tickles here on the handroid, the exoskeleton guide. Nothing major. You can see here, 
the bow and knob has touched down, some scuffing right there. Let's go to the other side. I think this one received the brunt of it. Lots of wear here on the SPS system. Very little on the leather. You can see this seam here. This is just an overlay. A couple little threads came loose there. Not a big deal. Okay, remember, because you have a, a full kangaroo panel underneath it, so that still is completely usable for sure. A little scuffing here in the pinky. You can see there's definitely some scuffing here on the exoskeleton and the exoskeleton guide. Lots of scuffing here on the wrist guide. Little scuffing here on the spandex panel. Okay, that elastic, that elastic strap. That's still good to go though. Totally functional. Let's go to the back of the hand now. You can see here if you want to tighten up, Ryan. Uh, more wear here on the exoskeleton, and you'll notice it knocked off the white closeout panel. That's a cosmetic piece. It's not there for any other reason but to finish the look of the glove. That got knocked off and it wore down the tab that would attach that. Not a big deal. Let's be realistic. When you crash in a glove, they don't look as good as they did when they were brand new. That's fair. These are still completely usable. You'll note here that on the BOA lacing knob, a little more wear than on the other side. All the cables and everything were completely protected. Everything is still 100% functional. I can release them, tighten them back up both sides, no worries. So the million dollar question, I guess the answer to the million dollar question is, do they work? I would say based on this pair, yes they work. Awesome job, we're excited to see they work so well. Well, what do you think, dude? They fit awesome. They feel good. That's two days in them now. Yeah, there's a totally a different situation, a different out-of-the-box feel. They feel like they're attached to your leather suit opposed to being something you put on you. It feels like it's a part of what you're all about. Now, the big question is, would you buy a pair? I need a pair. Nice. That's an Ox Android. All right, hey, what do you think, Joe? Hey, these gloves have went out for two sessions here at Barber, and uh, really comfortable gloves. Um, as uh, someone mentioned to me, they kind of feel like an extension of the leathers. Um, they don't bind up at all. High quality materials. Um, very good overall. Really nothing bad to say about it. What kind of gloves do you have now? What are the, the pair that you had previous? Got the Hell Phantoms. They're a little bit thicker, uh, but Honestly, I believe I think it's going to hold up just as well over the years. Thanks, Joe. You're welcome. Thanks, guys. All right, Anthony, you had a chance to ride in the Androids, dude. What do you think? Um, we're out here at uh, Barber Motorsports Park and uh, just tried these uh, new Kangaroo Knox gloves. Uh, I've been riding uh, Alpine Star GP gloves, and uh, these are uh, its kind of like night and day. The first thing I notice when I put them on is the, uh, the Kangaroo leathers are really, you get a really good feel for the brake. Uh, another thing I noticed is the uh, adjustments on here. Um, what you do is you just kind of like press down on that and turn it to tighten it up on your wrist. And it's real easy to do with uh, your other glove on, so you don't have to fumble around with it. Uh, one of the things I like best about the gloves. Um, pretty good gloves. Uh, I would recommend them to anybody. Um, I wear a size large and uh, felt really comfortable getting on and off. So. What size are those? These are large. So yep. they're consistent sizing. Yep, that's cool, it. Cool, man. That's it. Thanks, brother. Thanks.